This is Octobotomus coming with another video review. In today's episode, we're going to be taking an early look at the upcoming Transformers Movie Masterpiece Megatron. As you can see, Megatron here is sporting his 2007 alt mode, which was the Cybertronian jet, I guess. And this guy is absolutely massive and incredible now fair warning this is an early sample of it so there are a couple differences between this and the regular retail release in terms of the paint applications most of which are basically going to be the same and you're probably not even going to notice it but also fair warning i did not get instructions with this so i got this transformed as best as i could uh, the only thing that i think that i didn't do right is this section right here i feel like this is supposed to collapse down because there's a little tab in a slot underneath here and also here that i can't get compressed but beyond that i think i did a pretty good job at least enough to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're looking at but overall again absolutely uh gorgeous looking uh vehicle mode huge this is really quite massive and one thing that really caught me off guard uh right up front was the weight of it he does have die cast there's some in his feet and then this entire chunk right here is all die cast so he does have a really nice sturdy feel to him and like i said really quite large i mean to give you an idea here's leader class studio series jet fire um just <laughs> this guy dwarfs it i mean this area here is almost too small for this to give you a full shot of them and for another comparison here he is next to the studio series voyager class megatron again voyager class figure so much different but this just gives you an idea of how big this is i mean it is huge and one final comparison because people are going to want to see it here he is with studio series jazz um yeah this guy is huge <laughs> i mean just gargantuan by comparison i mean there's not really much else uh to talk about here in the veal commode paint is gorgeous on it uh, a lot of really nice silver paint you got some gray uh, you do have like i said that die cast which gives a really cool look uh, in terms of weapon storage uh, i really haven't found anything for his uh dual cannon thing i don't know where he puts his hands together i'll show that here in a little bit uh, but he does come with his uh, chain weapon as well uh for that i believe what you got you got a little hole here and i think that what you do is you can kind of come around here you got little posts on the side here that you can just take this maybe i'm gonna put it this way and uh you peg that in there get that a nice little push bring that around and Give that a little push as well it's a soft rubber so uh, you could just put it there kind of looks a little bit ugly uh, there is a lot of soft rubber on this guy uh, a lot of pieces like this little piece is soft rubber all of his hands are soft rubber front section here is soft rubber uh, these little uh, bits right here are soft rubber so it allows you to kind of move things around one thing that i have noticed though uh, because of it uh, these hands here uh, all the fingers kind of tab together but because it's a soft rubber for a tab it doesn't hold together all that well uh, you can still get it all collapsed in like like you see here but like this is completely loose from it that that's just detached entirely uh but like this one is holding pretty good so you know you can play with it as you see fit he also does come with one other accessory uh you can kind of see it on the underside here we'll take a closer look at that in uh, robot mode but uh i mean it's, it's huge it, i mean that's the the size of it the weight of it that's really what instantly grabbed my attention when i opened this up i was really very impressed now transformation it is actually fairly simple to do uh there's a lot of things that tab together but a lot, i mean like look a lot of really gorgeous paint detail on here uh but uh, the transformation is a little bit simpler than what we've gotten with other movie masterpiece figures more so i feel because he doesn't really have to look like a truck or a car or anything like that so this is definitely a figure where because he's got this cybertronian look he gets away with some of it which is fine i mean i don't mind it all that much uh first what we're gonna do we're gonna detach a lot of things a lot of these parts here tab in so you got this little section here detach this kind of just pull that away from the 
little wing section. Do that on that side as well. Pull that away. You can come down here to the bottom. This whole section right here tabs in along the side. A lot of these tabs are also really very uh, secure. So pull that away, but do so carefully when you're doing it because he's so big, I kind of have to set him down on the ground to do all this. So do that. This is all gonna fold around, rotate these little pieces around like that, and then come down here to these legs. Well, first come to this back section, lift this. You got two little tabbing points. These are actually really tricky to do. You got a little tabbing section right uh, up here that's gonna lock everything down and down here. So you got two points that you have to pull away. But like I said, I feel like this is meant to uh, collapse down because I mean even when I go like that it does but it doesn't I don't know I feel like I'm doing something wrong there so um, you know good luck when you guys get it so lift this kind of just separate that flop that out come around here to these legs these just extend out like so and then you collapse this piece down and in it kind of locks into place you got a little uh, locking sections on the inside there that you just pull all that together locks that very nicely so very simple with the legs so again extend that out fold this that locks in these knees you can lift these little pieces up covering up his knees if you really want to and then just take the feet extend those out they do have a, a little cavity right here, and then the weight of it does make it a little bit loose. But again, this is an early sample. I'm sure production samples will be much more uh, tweaked. But there you have his legs. Uh, so you can see very, very simple with everything. And then you got all these little panels right here that you just kind of play around with and uh, position as you see fit. So let me angle up a bit. Come around here to the back. We're just going to take all of this, and all this really does kind of collapse in on itself, which is cool. So fold that fold that that's just going to sit there like that and then bring that around do that on this side as well collapse this collapse that this brings comes around and then that's going to collapse in but let's bring all this up here in a second these little pieces here detach and swivel around do that on that side as well swivel that around these are all gonna come up and lock in, so fear not. These arms, lift this, detach this. You got a little tabbing section that locks everything down there. This is going to hinge down, and then these are going to split apart and hinge out like that. This whole section here, you take all of this and Bring this up and leave it there for right now. Get that kind of out of the way. Then take this whole section here. You're going to split this down the middle. This is going to swivel in, swivel in. This folds down and just kind of sits right there. Do that there as well. And then that comes around like so. And then this, I want to hinge this out like that. And then this all comes around. And this can get a little bit tricky. So pull this away. And then that swivels down. And then you'll be able to connect these little pieces on the side, on the, or in the inside there. Just like that. Just sits right there. And then so swivel this down and around. You can take these little side pieces. You can rotate that out like that. Bring this up. Oh, pulled off his head. Sorry. Put that there. And then this. All this collapses on the inside here. So kind of keep that straight. Like so. And then all of this fits down into this cavity right there. And then get these little wings, fold those to the back, and then 
before you close with this kind of lift this up and you're seeing the other accessory bring these up now there's a couple different locking points here you know lift that there uh, you have this little section here I'm gonna rotate this around that's going to slot up underneath here so bring this up you want to keep the uh, little torso bit on an angle like so and this comes up and then locks in right there do that on this side as well this comes up and locks in right there and then take this close this and these should tab in along the side if i didn't pull out the top section there we go push that in lift this up push that in there we go and then these you can just play with these uh, how you see fit just kind of angle them right there rotate his arms around just like that come back here to the back section this whole bit here will connect together along the back side keep this out of the way uh, it is a little bit tight it doesn't really hold all that well but you got a couple other tabs right here on the bottom of this piece that come up and lock in everything there but it is a little bit tricky to do there you go squeeze that in perfect flare these back like that these little bits right here these well i should have before I did that, I should have brought that in. You know, pull that around. And then these tab in along the back. So again, rotate this little piece up and around. Bring this in, push that, lock that into the back like so. Come around here to the front. We're gonna play with the hands here. Take this section, hinge that back. And then these come back. And then you got a little tab section here. Again, because it's softer rubber, it's harder to lock that in really all you have to do is just kind of squeeze it in there and it will kind of i mean it's hard to see but it, it stays put uh but uh be again because it's a softer rubber it will flop around a little bit you can move these hands around you can do whatever you want uh with these little guys uh, this one is a little bit loose but i'll be able to tighten that myself do that on this side as well lift this piece up that locks down rotate this around kind of fit everything in there get that like so rotate this around can angle that out angle that out you got his little fingers come around here to the actual head section now this is uh cool because of uh, the head you have to really uh, hide his face but this whole section here is on like a double hinge that you can hinge up and then it's very stiff you can bring it back there and there boys and girls let me adjust them a little bit getting to look awesome there you have the movie masterpiece Megatron. Wow, did this guy turn out great. And I know, I'm sorry, I've not been doing any comparisons with the other movie masterpiece figures. They're no longer in my collection. Ultimately, I've decided to stick with the Studio Series figures as they're a little bit smaller and take up less space. One other thing about them is a lot of them are not very fun to transform. They definitely have a masterpiece quality to their engineering. And so does Megatron here. But because you don't have the constraint of getting him into a vehicle mode that looks like a real vehicle, he's a little bit more... I don't want to say simpler because there is some really good stuff that's happening with him. But he is definitely not as complex. Now for his accessories, uh, as I talked about, uh, he does come with his chain weapon. To utilize this, you come around here to the hand, you just give this a little pull, and you can see that you got a little plug right there that you just take this, you plug that inside there, and then you take his hand and you put that on the other side. Really very simple. Then you can have him hold this, uh, you can recreate the scene when I am Megatron, and he like whipped people with his 
hand, so you can do that. Uh, for his other weapon, uh, you're gonna wanna take out both of his hands, just like so, and this is it. Now, this is the one where I was talking about that there is some paint uh, variations. There's some silver paint on this. I don't think that it's supposed to be there. It looks great, uh, so maybe they're gonna do like a Takara version or something. I, I have no idea, but uh, I don't believe that that actual silver is supposed to be there. So what you do is you bring around his arms, Kind of just bring them together like that. They're going to be kind of on an angle like this. And then they plug in just like that. So get that in there. And then that. And on the other side, it can be a little bit tricky getting it all to line up proper. Um, let's see. Well, maybe, maybe it'll go like that. Yeah, maybe something like that. There we go. Eh, there we go. So uh, he brings his hands together, we saw in the movie, and then this piece here opens, and then this extends all the way out. That closes back down, and now he's got his big giant cannon. Um, it's a Michael Bay thing. <laughs> uh, but it's cool that they included that. I mean, that that's a really neat touch. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I just kind of wish that there was a place, like I said, where you could uh, store this in his vehicle mode. I haven't found it yet. Uh, but again, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be revealed with this in the next few months when this comes out. Uh, for the general public and everybody has it and they're like optimus you did this wrong and that's what's gonna happen i know it but it is what it is so those are his uh little accessories uh, just by himself he also comes with this you can open the chest up and the inside here has this gorgeous red detail Come in to take a closer look i'm gonna zoom in so you can see all, a lot of these details uh, he does have the all spark cube in here which is great uh it isn't made out of die cast i kind of wish it was but you can see gorgeous sculpted detail really nice silver paint on the entire thing all of it has uh, slightly different designs they i mean i don't remember what the designs look like but they look good enough for me i think uh, all of the sides look really good uh, there is some weight to it uh, but it, it's not metal like I said I do wish it was die cast that would have been a nice touch and then you can see how it's kind of got like this burnt in sort of image here which is cool uh, so you can stick that right there kind of wish there was a way that you could do it uh, and then just clip that close bring that in and then make sure that's all the way down and you can lock that back into place. I wish there was a way that you could have it jam in there like what Sam did to him. But I guess you really can't. But coming in to take a close look here at that head sculpt. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous head sculpt. I mean, great detail with the silver, the gray. You got red in there for the eyes. Uh, I love how you can even open and close the mouth. Uh, I mean, you pull his head off and... Uh, again, early sample, so things are not as good as in terms of tolerances as the final one is. That's just there we go. Well, all right. So you can do that, and then you can open his mouth really wide. But that is awesome. I wish there was some silver on the teeth, especially there at the bottom. That would have been cool. But gorgeous head sculpt on there and that's really absolutely stellar looking uh, now again getting that to collapse and can be tricky there we go but uh staying in close uh, so you can see the rest of the details great detail with the chest again you can see a lot of that gold coloring throughout there the grays look good the mix with the silver looks really nice all the copperish detailing in the shoulders looks really good all the all the sculpting on here is very simple but really does give a look uh, of Megatron from the movie. I mean, it really, really does. Uh, the backpack compresses, compresses fairly nicely. Uh, again, I feel like uh, this should compress a little bit more, but um, a pretty uh, big backpack, but I don't think it is really all that ugly. And uh, again, honestly, I may not have it completely right, but everything tabs in and I think looks 
pretty darn good. I mean, they did a really good job, especially, like I said, in terms of hiding some of the uh, the parts for them. Like, for example, the big giant nose cone thing. All of it has all these angular panels that, like I said, you can kind of move around and flex. Uh, the legs have a good bulk to them. As I said, there's a lot of die cast in them. So, uh, especially when you're transforming them, there is a little bit of a floppiness to him. Um... It, it it's not too troublesome but it does require some finesse when you're trying to transform them the die cast though like i was talking about does give a nice weight to it uh the feet here is are really the only die cast that you're gonna see and you can hear it uh but that's all you're really gonna notice in robot mode as the uh the chest section and everything kind of compresses down oh also one of these little pieces right here that's also die cast so uh terrific detail uh, on them layers and layers of uh, weird angles and stuff now uh, for some comparisons again i'm terribly sorry i do not have any uh, movie masterpiece figures here to give you a size comparison but i do have some other versions of megatron here is the uh, the battle damage version from revenge of the fallen here is the severely battle damage version of megatron from uh, dark of the moon for the heck of it uh, here is Optimus Prime, uh, this is definitely way too small uh, by comparison <laughs> to how this Megatron is. Uh, but, he, he, I mean, obviously he's meant to scale with the other movie masterpiece figures. So, uh, not so much these guys. And then just because, here's Jazz. I almost feel like this is a good scale for him. I almost feel like this is about right. Because uh, he's going to grab him and he's going to yank him in half. And this figure doesn't really do that. But the new movie masterpiece version of Jazz that's coming out will be able to be split. And you can actually display that with Megatron, which is going to look pretty darn cool. But uh, there's a, there's an idea of some uh, sizes for you. So you, so you can kind of see roughly how big he uh, is and gets in robot mode. It is quite impressive. For his articulation, he's uh, very well articulated. The head will rotate. Uh, as you can see, I do have a hard time with it because it, it does keep kind of popping out. You have this little uh, sliding joint right here that allows you to kind of extend his neck. And then if you wanted to get like a high angle pose for him, you could do that. And then you can bring that down. The mouth also, as you can see, can articulate. But that's primarily the, um, the position that you're going to want to uh, go with on the guy. So let me get that. Wedge back in there. There we go. Uh, the shoulders have very nice ratchet joints. You can forward, back, kind of go all the way around. Uh, it does get a little bit hindered here with the back section. Uh, you can lift this piece up, and then you can hinge his arms outward just like so. He does rotate at uh, his elbow. He does have nice ratchet joints at him as well, so you can get a good range of motion there. The hands here, uh, again, the, because of the nature of this, are a little bit looser than normal. I could probably fix that, honestly. I'm just trying to see how you would do it, but it's probably pretty easy to do. Uh, but you got a hinge right here. You have a little hinge right there, and then another little hinge there. This moves forward and back. Uh, I don't think, yeah, that's it for that. So you got some uh, finger articulations. You can have him uh, open his hand real wide if you really wanted to. I'm very happy to say that he does have waist articulation. Oh, well, yeah, stay in there. Uh, so all you have to do is rotate him. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, all the stuff on here, I thought he wouldn't have that, but he does. Uh, the hips are on fairly decent ratchet joints, but it, there is a big difference between, like, right... Oh, let's see. So you got one joint there, and then... I mean, there, there is definitely some play in that joint. Uh, it does move in and out. This little piece, as you can see, moves out to get a nice range of motion there. He rotates just above the knee. So uh, nothing at the thigh or anything, but you got a rotation joint right there. And then the knees move forward and back. The ankles kind of move forward and back as well. You can kind of separate those and make them hinge a little bit more. And then you also do have, uh, if you get it extended out there, you also do get this as far out as I can you also have uh, an ankle tilt but it's just there so it's a very wide stance for him if you wanted to use that ankle tilt uh, I mean there's a couple different joints for it uh, right there and then 
just completely off on the angle. So you can go like that, which looks pretty good. Uh, I, I mean, it, he stands pretty decently, uh, so it works uh, for that. Uh, so... It, it, I don't like necessarily how it's either completely straight on an angle like that, which maybe that's like a 45 degree angle, and then a complete 90 degree angle. Uh, I wish there was a little bit more play in that, but it's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I'm still quite content with it, and I think uh, articulation-wise, it's uh, very well articulated in all of it. Flows very nicely. It looks really good. Hell, in terms of a transforming Megatron, this, in my opinion, is without a doubt the best one uh, that we... Oh, and there's, there's also a little hinge here, right there. But this is, in my opinion, without a doubt... Uh, the best uh, movie Megatron figure that we've ever gotten. And now let's get this badass back in his vehicle mode. First, come here to the head. I'm going to take this whole section. Uh, hopefully, the whole head doesn't come off. Uh, but you want to hinge this out and get that uh, as accordion as far out as you can. It's going to come down and cover up his face. So that's about how you want it. It's going to come down something like that. Come around here to the back section. Uh, take this whole bit right here, detach this, kind of just let that fall down, and then open all this up, just extending that away from the body. You can fold this out. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just kind of opening it back up to its original position. So get that all out, get that all out, just like that. Rotate that little piece around on both sides. Come around here to this chest, you can detach this, fold this down, and then take this entire section here, kind of lift this up, get that out of the way, and then bring these pieces out, just like that. And then this whole piece is going to kind of flop back and kind of create a mess. But when you do that, open this all up, get these little pieces, kind of rotate those out, you can just kind of get that out of the way, and these are going to come up, and this is going to cover across his face like so i'm doing this kind of upside down uh, just so we can kind of stay up here but you can kind of see what's happening then just according all this out uh, this little piece here is going to fold out and then that clips in there do that on this side as well fold all this out pull that down fold that piece out and then hinge this around and squeeze that together. When you come around here to the underside, you'll see that Megatron's face is now uh, completely covered up here, which is what you want it to do anyhow. So, yay. Come around here to these arms. This is gonna just kinda hang down here, just like that. Uh, you're probably gonna not wanna pull that out. From here, you're gonna take this section, rotate the arms around so they're gonna be basically reaching for the sky, and then angle these little pieces out just get that out of the way and then bring these two halves together and squeeze them together on the inside there these hands here are going to uh, rotate around and you're going to play with these and get these into a proper position but this is kind of how you want them you want them slightly off to the side again we'll fiddle with everything a lot of stuff will get tabbed into place in a little bit uh, there is some cleaning up that will need to get done but as you can see you kind of just flop all of this around for right now we're going to fiddle with these legs close the feet keep that collapsed in close the feet and then you detach the halves like so and then collapse the uh, thigh as far in as you can it you really got to make sure that it gets all the way up in there to be in the uh, proper position so that's done there do that on this side as well open this and then fold that all the way down to that knee joint gets all the way down there just like that get that as far in as you can something like that that looks about right there you go something like that there we go uh, take these little bits you can rotate these out that's just gonna hinge down here kind of just hang out there on the bottom then this flops around there we go this is going to you can basically see what's happening 
with it, right? So then bring these arms in. A lot, a lot of it, like I said, is a lot of flopping around. Then you want to bring these pieces here. We're going to start connecting everything here. So this section right here has a little slot on the inside that that little bit is going to tab into. Just kind of fold that back till you get there. Line that in. Push that in right there. That keeps everything in the proper uh, positioning for it. So then fold this. That's going to hinge up like that and just kind of rest. Uh, keep that all in there. And then these little bits just kind of sit right there. Okay. Then bring this up and around. Fold that all the way around. Bring this down. And then you have a, on the underside here, you have a little tab that's going to lock into the middle portion here of his chest. So just bring that and then lock that there get these kind of out of the way this again this is a part where i get a little bit confused uh, again not having instructions can be problematic but you know it is kind of what it is get these wings lifted up and out of the way and then a lot of this stuff here you have to tab in and it does get tricky to do uh, again it, it does flop around a bit but um what you want to do is kind of i'm going to get these wings out of the way here uh, so you have little slots underneath here i want to i want to say that i don't have that collapse all the way up there we go so you have these little tabs right on the back of his thighs that these little pieces here are going to come across and lock into so again, keep this all hinged back. This part is really tricky to see and do. You have to feel where it pops in there. And it's not a uh, an easy thing to, like I said, see. Because you're looking kind of through things. So kind of feel where that is. And... Here we go. Perfect. But that didn't line up. So then lock this back piece down. There we go. All right. Now to do that on the other side. There we go. All right. That one locked in. That locked in. And that uh, essentially holds everything in place here, um, which you can see it does get tricky to do it uh i popped this little piece off so put this back on there there you go there you go I kind of flop that down uh, again these little pieces you can kind of leave dangling off on the side uh, they just add some flair to what you're doing with some stuff here i don't really think it actually does anything but you know, we'll, we'll see now we're going to straighten out these wings uh again this this part right here i'm pretty sure i have wrong uh so good luck guys i'm sure you guys will be able to figure it out better than i was so bring this around this keep this up this locks into place and then bring this down and that will tab in along the bottom this part here is also tricky to do. These tabs just are not, uh, I mean, they're, they're very secure tabs. You just have to be a little careful when you're doing it. Let me come down a little bit more. So find, get that there, and then push that in. There we are. Get this guy doing the same dealy. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, now come around here to these underside bits. This section here you want to open up, and then you have another section here that you have to tab this piece into along the underside like that. And that gives that kind of cool look right there. Do that on this side as well. This is supposed to be rotated around. 
bring that around and lock that into place there we go just like that and keep that kind of flared oh, oh that whole thing like rotates around there here okay then clean this up straighten out these wings just like so keep that up keep that up now you play with these hands I'm just gonna put that there put that there these hands are, are kind of like I said a little bit tricky you want to open this up and then rotate this around you got a little tab so yeah the, I mean I get why they did the softer rubber material I'm just not a huge fan of that uh, it looks cool it functions well so again bring this down you got that little tab slot on the bottom bring this around and line that up locking that in place and he's so darn big it, it's that's one of the uh i guess negative aspects about it because he's so big he is a little bit difficult to manipulate um so uh, bear that in mind when you're handling this guy rotate that then come around here to the bottom you want to make sure that these actually kind of slot in right there kind of angle these make sure that that's straight straighten that take a look i'm taking a look i'm taking a look i think that's everything that, yeah, see that kind of hit hangs up a little bit keep that up like so there we go done got it as best as i can uh so when you're done there you have megatron back in his uh cybertronian jet mode and i honestly am blown away by how awesome this figure is again i do want to apologize for uh, any lack of clarity in terms of the transformation and maybe having some things transformed incorrectly as i said i didn't get instructions and had to go kind of blind throughout this uh, but i feel like you got the gist and hopefully you enjoyed the video vehicle mode wise uh looks like it needs to it looks like megatron it really really does I'm, I'm quite impressed with this and while as i talked about it didn't have to resemble a vehicle that we know like a truck or a car or anything to really uh, give a very complex transformation it has a simple transformation but it really looks the part it's pretty uh badass transformation uh, going into his robot mode is much easier than coming back because you got to get things properly lined up and tabbed correctly, um, which can be a little bit frustrating. The other aspect is depending on where you're holding, you know, like the uh, die cast and the feet can make the feet a little bit floppy. Uh, the die cast up here can make the front section a little bit floppy. So he is kind of wobbly when you're trying to transform him and that can get a little bit frustrating especially when you need to have a precision with some of these tabs it's not bad just take your time and you should be fine but what we get through all of that is a robot mode that looks gorgeous i absolutely love it the colors the aesthetic everything on here really does look amazing he has an intimidating angry monstrous sort of look to him which is great it's what megatron should have and while we have gotten some good megatron figures over the years this is a terrific terrific figure guys and if you're collecting movie figures if you're collecting transformers whatever the case may be this is a good one and i would absolutely recommend picking it up and adding it to your collection now as i said this is an early sample that i was able to get a hold of i do believe that the regular general release is august september so keep your eyes open guys or as always there's places that you can pre-order it such as big bad toy store for that i'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to bbts and you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of transformer figures but beyond that guys that's about it. 
Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support, guys, simply by hitting that little thumbs up button. That one small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. I know it was a long one, but one other way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who, through their continued support, now more than ever helped to make this review possible. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid. You got